Three years ago, we took a look at larger drainage structures along the turnpike. We decided to begin a program to upgrade some locations over the next decade, spending between three to five million dollars per year as a part of our long-term need study. Data from a hydraulic screening report that was completed in 2014 is what we use to prioritize which structures to upgrade. The process of preparing for the drainage improvements prior to construction includes hydraulic assessment, design, permitting, and conducting a bid letting in order to enter into a contract to construct the improvements. Most of our mainline drainage was designed in the 1950s. Over time, we've replaced culverts and improved other drainage structures as we've made other roadway improvements nearby. But more than two years ago, we decided it's time to begin making upgrades to drainage culverts that are not included with other roadway improvement projects. Current national guidelines call for drainage structures on interstate highways to accommodate water from a 50-year storm. Driven by our desire to provide a high level of customer service, KTA's new focus for projects that involve complete replacement of a drainage structure is to keep water off of the roadway during a 100-year storm. Permitting is the most unpredictable part of many construction projects, but especially when we're talking about structures located in stream beds. When there is a natural body of water flowing under the roadway, we have to take into consideration things like animal migration or breeding season. It's never as simple as just doing it. While designs for culverts haven't changed much over the years, how we build the structures has evolved. Interestingly, some of our largest culverts are actually considered bridges. Once our final design is complete, we bid the project and the contractor that is awarded the project provides a detailed construction schedule. When the time is right, we begin construction. Each project is unique, but most culvert jobs are completed within six or seven months. Weather is the most challenging aspect of a culvert construction project, as a majority of work is done in the stream bed. Periods of wet weather can create difficult conditions and slows down progress. The first of these major upgrades is happening in the Flint Hills at mile marker 116 and 118. If you travel the turnpike, you've probably seen construction well underway. We have five more culverts we're working on in 2016 and 2017, and even more after that. We're committed to improving drainage here on the Kansas Turnpike.